Plumley. 27 for Lillard. 101-99 Blazers. One of my favorite play-by-play announcers in the NBA, Brian Wheeler, with the call on the Blazers radio network. Now, it was close. It was close for a while. Give the Nets credit traveling to the Pacific Northwest, about as opposite uh, as they could be from their own place in Brooklyn. But, man, Damian Lillard, he is... Now, he doesn't need to every night, but he is on a rampage and carrying the Trailblazers right now. Another 34 points for him. And you know that we talked about this. If you listen to our show on Sunday night, we talked about this. Lillard was one of our Monday MVP candidates coming off of a weekend in which he scored 81 points and he was averaging just shy of 30 in the month of February. Now he is the first player to score at least 30 in five straight games for Portland since the early 70s. In fact, their inaugural season, 1970-1971. And he's also the first NBA player to do so this season. So let that sink in for a second. As amazing as Steph Curry has been, and he has been. As amazing as James Harden has been in stretches. He has eight 30-point games this year. In fact, I think he and Steph Curry, I read this on Tuesday, are tied for the most number of 30-point games this year. Don't quote me on that. Let me make sure I confirm that before you run with it. We won't call that an official nerd alert. But what Damian Lillard is doing, scoring at least 30 in five straight games, the first NBA player to do that this season, how much... Do you just know that it's burning him up that he was snubbed for the All-Star game? Not only did he not get voted in, and and maybe fan vote I can understand, because Damian Lillard is playing for a team in the Pacific Northwest that, like it or not, a lot of times will tip their games at 10 o'clock or 10.30 East Coast time. And so not only is it out of market, but you're not getting a lot of people on the East Coast who are necessarily staying up and watching those games night in and night out. President Obama certainly is not. He's told us that before. So I understand the fan vote part of it because of the market that Lillard plays in. But the rest of it, not being selected by the own members of his fraternity, come on. You know that that's something that's burning him up. And he's using it as motivation. It's After Hours with Amy Lawrence here on CBS Sports.